distance it affords. One of the greatest things about the sport that, that I enjoyed instantaneously was the thought leadership in respecting your opponent. The game is about both sides. It's not about hating your opponent. You share in competition that you enjoy. And then the other side was just the way that the players own the game and the independence that you have to be creative. You're making a lot of the decision making on the field. Leaders really rise to the top because there's so many opportunities to affect change within your, within your teammates. Before rising to CEO, Dan imparted those lessons as the athletic director and director of rugby at Life University. One, two, three! Undivided! I went to Life University to build an undergraduate rugby program. I had an opportunity to obviously add a women's team. We were able to really grow and utilize a lot of great people and leverage a lot of talents that those people had and put people in a situation to have success. As part of this vision, Dan hired Rosalind Chow at the start of the 2014 season. Although never a head coach, she brought 20 years of experience at the collegiate and club level, and Dan recognized her wealth of talents. At the time, I didn't see it in myself, um, but he saw something in me that showed that I had potential and he believed in it, and so then it became a reality. In her first season, Chow led the team to a 10-1 record and has since amassed several championships, developing national all-star athletes. Probably of the 40 or 50 people I've hired throughout my professional career, she might be number one or number two. She's consistent. She loves her players. She challenges them to develop. Crouch, bind, set, here we go. I'm 100% fully committed to leadership being about being a mentor and living what you expect out of your athletes. If I ask them to work hard, they'll see me working hard. If I ask them to live with integrity and to be honest and respectful, that I will do those things. If I can show them and that I'm always trying to be better, I want them to do the same thing. That's my challenge to the edge. Can we be reloaded in one phase that if it bounces here after the knife, it's on? That's my challenge. Beyond the awards and titles, the core values of the program and sport have forged champion athletes who lead on and off the pitch. Well, and that's what Roz does a great job at. She uses sport to develop the person. Now, I know we have to find the balance between being aggressive, but also being disciplined to be smart. Seeing these young student athletes come in and seeing them change and become not only great rugby players, but great friends and colleagues and leaders in all these capacities. It's what I show up to work for every day is to, what are they gonna become? Who are they going to be in the future? And some of her athletes, like Christina Swift, have the chance to become key members of the U.S. Women's Eagles, measuring the wide span of her potential Christina credits the principles of Life University and Rosalind Chow. I learned that there's always someone that's working harder, faster, and is going to be better than you. She's the overall role model that I look up to. She has taught me to be into the complete growth mindset and have the complete opportunity to keep growing. With rugby acting as an instrument for personal growth and achievement, Rosalind Chow's story is an affirmation of the game's many gifts. All right, that's it for today. I'll pull up and drive along that bottom field really slowly and just kind of look at it and think about how lucky I am to be here at this program and the student athletes that I get the opportunity to be around every single day. And I'll just drive up and be like, this is amazing.